Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Real Estate. Let's talk about the fatal flaws of sales. And this episode is brought to you by abrilliantribe.com. We just launched something called The Visionaries. It's for team leaders and broker owners. We not only bring the number ones of the US team owners, brokerages, but we go deep into what you need to be doing in recruiting, marketing, retention, all of the things that you're missing, we provide. We do it in a group setting. Hopefully, I see you there. Now, let's talk about these fatal flaws because these are things that we can avoid. And there's one quote, I'm going to read it to you. And it's from a guy from Procter & Gamble. It says, a choice to serve everyone, everywhere, or simply serve all comers is a losing choice. A G. Laughly. Now, there are three messages here. Number one is what the biggest fatal mistake is or fatal flaws in sales. Number one, weak messaging. And you know why we have weak messaging? Because we're trying to please everyone. You can see it in your marketing on social, newsletters, in your flyers, in your postcards. And when you try to serve everyone, you end up serving no one. What you want to do is identify your unique, relevant messaging. And that itself starts penetrating the audience that you want to attract. Like, who are you attracting here? Because the reason you you have a weak message is because you haven't identified who your audience is. Number two, lack of brand promise and strategy. So through a vague and weak message, your brand or that promise that you have in your brand is kind of watered down. Nobody knows what you really stand for. And when you have a message that's clear and says, hey, audience, this is what we do. It's only for you. It's not for everyone else. People are attracted to that. Because the way that people work is they're looking for experts. They're looking for people that can solve the problem that they currently have with this. And for you as a real estate agent in the world that we're in and heading into, the value has to be very specific. Do you serve these type of people? Do you serve this community? Do you serve this price point? And if so, how do you do it? What sets you apart? What is different? And number three, you'll go broke. Fatal flaw number three in sales is you'll go broke. Why? Because you're going to try to be covering everyone and your message will fall on deaf ears because no one typically likes a generalist, not in this sales world. People want to connect with people that they know are providing value and services that they're looking for. So you, you've you seen these big companies spend millions of dollars on the messaging that serves a specific type of person. And look at Apple. I bring up Apple a lot. I use their products, but think differently. Who are they trying to attract with that messaging? And then with the price points, right? Think about that. And you go to Nike. Who are they trying to attract with the commercials they run? Gatorade. Who are they trying to attract with the messaging? You could actually go and do this. Do a little bit of research and look at your competition and say, who is successful in my area? And what's their messaging on the stuff that I'm seeing online, on social, written, or postcards? Is their message clear, which it should be if they're very successful? Or is it all over the place? Some good homework for you for the next day or two or on the weekend. Thank you for listening in. Let's talk tomorrow.